Hello everyone, Wreckabilly here, and welcome to another episode on the Hypermind server. I am currently looking at the map of spawn. This is the iron farm right here. And that little green dot is where I am. That is the you are here sign. Whoops. Oh, oh. Okay. <laughs> um, and I need to go down this long water road. And I'm pretty sure Lapis Lori's uh, apartments are right up here in this area. And she tells me that there's a skeleton farm there. Now we need to find a skeleton farm. That or a spider farm. But uh, I'm hoping that this skeleton farm is is where she says it is. We're going to have to take a little swim down this ways a little bit. I do not trust the boats, so I'm not even going to bother getting in one of those. Uh, it's been a good, good past couple days. Um, very stressed out at work. Baby's sick. Um, you know, family problems here and there and uh, you know your usual uh, upsetting things so yeah great days great days in, in my past few days <laughs> um, yeah I've been having a little little tough times here and there but uh, you know it's it's part of life everybody goes through some tough times every once in a while all right so this I don't think this is the apartment area I'm pretty sure that the apartment area is is over here. I'm pretty sure those are, are the apartments. So let's take a walk along this pier. Lori is such an awesome builder. I don't really like the uh, the plain glass. I'd prefer it if that was like a, a colored glass, but I mean everything else, she's awesome. Absolutely cool. Okay. Oh look, this pier takes us right to it. Okay, so she says that there is a skeleton farm underneath one of these things. Now, I might be in the total wrong spot. Like, this might not even be an apartment complex place. So I kind of need to, to explore a little bit. You guys get to see some of Lori's builds. Let's try to find one that has a basement. So that one doesn't seem to have a basement in it. Not that I saw. Um, let's see if this one has stairs going down. Aha, yes, we got some stairs going down. Hmm, any more? Hello? Guess not. Did I leave that door open? I hope not. Hmm, that looks like it's not gonna have anything for us. Let's go this way. For sale, unfurnished beach house. Ooh, we'll have to consider that. I always wanted a beach house. Right. Okay, let's go and check out this one. Doesn't look like it has a basement. Uh, I don't think that's an apartment. Sea Cow Bay. Well, shoot. Am I in the wrong area? Let's go check out these ones over here really fast. Let, let's just check them out. We'll see what we can find. Um, because I didn't see anything in those places. If we, we, we really need, what we really, really need are bow and arrows. Now if we can find some plain old bow and arrows, or just bows actually, we don't need the arrows. If we can find some bows, then I will be happy. Happy, happy, happy. I'm leaving like all of her doors open. And the reason why we need bows is because we are working on the uh, the mini game, of course. I've been working on that basically non-stop since I got on this server. Um, well, shoot. I don't think we have... I don't think we're in the right spot, unfortunately. This is Sea Cow Bay. So maybe there's a different area that's her apartment complex. We'll, we'll keep looking. Or I'll probably keep looking. But uh, we need these bow and arrows, be or these bows, um, because we're working on this, on the mini game, and that requires us to have um, dispensers. Um, so that is what I've been working on. We need to get some of the redstone stuff going, 
and uh, there's a few things that need to be in put in place before we can get all of the core mechanics done uh, which is kind of funny but the the reason is because if I do um, if I do the core mechanics right now then I might not be able to put the extra little bits in the spots that I want on the map so I need to think about that while I'm building this okay let's go back this isn't the right way, is it? This is the right way. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, I didn't see any apartment complex. Ah, there's Lori. Um. What should I tell her? What should I see? Cow Bay? Or what? <laughs> we'll find out. We'll find out. I'll see if I can get us some bow and arrows. Bows. Just bows. We don't need the arrows. I'll see if I can get us some bows. And, um, we'll make this happen. Give me one second, folks. I found it. And guess what? It was like right next to the house. <laughs> um, so, what we can do here, what we can do here. Ooh, I'm breaking. <laughs> I'm not about to take anything. Um, but uh, we need to get rid of, of something. Cause I got, there we go, we'll get rid of that. Sorry, I'm like, I come in here, I'm taking your stuff, Lori, and then I litter. But it's okay. If I need any more stuff from here, then I can just, you know, come back. <laughs> um, I'm a fool, guys. If you if you never thought you've seen a fool, then uh, you're looking at one right now. We are in Lori's apartment complex. Like she's she's been working on this mad crazy. This place is awesome. But look where it is, right next to the game area. That's that's exactly where <laughs> where we've been this entire time. I took that long walk searching through all of those buildings for nothing. Nothing. There's Lori. Oh, that's not how you spell howdy. Howdy. <laughs> took some bows. Thanks for that. <laughs> <laughs> Lori's a really cool person, so uh, if you haven't seen her videos, go check her out. She has some cool stuff, very nice builds, and she does like short little videos, which I really like. I seem to not be able to do that, because I'm like, this is going to be a short video 30 minutes later. <laughs> um, Alright, so we're here in the game area, and uh, we're going to need... To use some of these bows as the dispensers now remember I wanted to have an iron dispenser here and then we're gonna need a couple well maybe just one um, lapis dispenser so maybe we'll we'll like split this in half we'll have like one lapis dispenser right here and one iron dispenser right over here kind of thing um, Cow, you're just stepping on everything. Goodness. Don't worry, I'll get rid of those cows um, when the time comes to actually play the game and test it out and stuff. Okay. So let, let's go ahead and get this started. Let's say we want... There we, we're going to have one here and the other one right here. Which means we're going to need to kind of... Oh, but that's like in the middle of the road. That's not going to work. That is not going to work. Let's get some dirt. Mm. Mm. Okay. How do we want to do this? How do we want to do this? You know. Hmm. It would be kind of cool if we had. If we had it come from the same area. So like if you're standing here, you're going to get. Um, some iron and then you're gonna get some lapis and it's all gonna pop up at the same time like 
or you know one after each other lapis lapis iron 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 lapis iron iron you know it's just kind of like in a random order um with the priority being iron and a lot more rare to get uh lapis so let's go in and see what's down here okay we have some wires here and this is why i kind of wanted to uh do this now before we get any of the real builds and, and wire structure going on um, just in case something like this because these wires right now I can move them but who knows if I would have been able to move them later on let's see if I even need to move these ones okay so what I what do I need to do here we need to create a clock and we need at least at least three dispensers I would say Oh, no, no, at least four. All right, here's what I'm thinking, guys. Here's what I'm thinking. Um, let's go ahead and make our dispensers. Um, I'm going to put some of this iron blocks away. I grabbed those so that we can uh, put them, put some iron inside the, the things. We're also going to need a lot of lapis. So uh, if anybody on the server is watching and you have, like, an abundance of lapis unnecessarily... Um, or an unnecessary amount of lapis feel free to donate to me um, and we will make this mini game awesome okay so uh, what, do I need? what do I need I, need, I have wood um, cobblestone I need redstone let's go ahead and grab, grab a few redstones that is way more than enough one, two, three. One, oh, I need to get the logs or the planks first. And forgive me if I get the the um if I get the order of which redstone or, or the iron goes in because uh that always messes me up. Yep. Mhm. Mm That's a piston. That's not <laughs> Ignore that. <laughs> Um, do we go like that and then redstone in the middle? No, like that. That's a dispenser. Oh. Dropper. We did not. God. God damn it. Oh, I did not need the freaking dispenser or the bows. Face palm. Oh, I need some coffee. Mm. Oh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> Alright, well, we have plenty of dispensers to work with. So let's go ahead and see what we can do here. So, let's pop down the middle. Basically, oh, you know what? I'm going to need wool. God dang it. <laughs> I'm going to need wool. I'll probably need some more redstone. Some repeaters, some comparators, possibly. That's still cooking all those bricks. Um, I finished the houses, by the way. Let's take a look at those really quick. Check them out. Looking nice. I need to get an enchanting... Oh, hi there. You just popped right on off, didn't you? I need to get an enchanting table right here. And we're also going to need a back door so that when we start the game, they'll come through the door and... Um, and then work their way out during the game. And then I did the exact same thing on this side. Pretty simple. Pretty simple idea. Blue carpet over there. Red carpet over here. We're going to get some banners on the front. To kind of <laughs> to kind of signify the teams and stuff like that. Maybe if, in case people don't get... Or just to help prevent people from getting disoriented. Alright, so there's some wool. Let's get rid of some of this stuff. All right. All right. All right. <laughs> Twenty-seven diamonds. Oh yeah, yeah. I went uh, mining. Oh, oh, oh! I swear, I thought I heard a creeper. Okay. Okay. Don't freak out. Don't freak out. I need comparators, repeaters. I'm gonna get all this stuff ready. 
and uh, I might do a little bit of it just to show you guys so I don't look like a fool and I will be right back. Alright, so I thought I'd give a little bit of a progress report. Let me hop on up here. <clears throat> okay. So we have the two pressure plates. God, I keep breaking stuff and now there's seeds everywhere. Alright, so the idea is we stand on this pressure plate. Iron and lapis starts popping out. With the majority being iron. And, uh, you know, uh, much less lapis. However, uh, it would only be like... Two out of three will be iron, one out of three will be lapis. Understand? So, we have these three dispensers. Um, two of them will have iron and one of them will have lapis. And basically what we need to do is we need to send out a random signal to randomly power one of these three. So, how are we going to do that? I thought I'd just give a little, uh, little report and, uh, see, and show you guys what I'm, what I'm kind of working with here. So I have these two dispensers, uh, that one's going to put items into this one, this one's going to shoot it through the floor. Uh, I keep saying dispensers, these are droppers. Okay, understand? Very simple. So I'm going to work on this little mechanic here and I will be right back with you all. All right, everyone, so I think I got this working here. I have yet to test it. Of course, I, I still need to pull the redstone out of these things, but this is what I have. So we have this clock here. So when we step on the pressure plate, it's going to turn this guy off, which will start this clock. And as you can see, it has a lot more of a chance and it's actually always going to put iron inside this thing right here and um, as you can see it's also well maybe should I do that should I make it so that it only gets one or the other so this is what's basically happening we have a dispenser or a dropper here that's sending in um, these items so there's iron iron and then lapis so if it's iron it's gonna only do one tick if it's lapis it's gonna do two or okay if it's iron it's gonna hit one redstone and it's gonna go into this guy and we'll put iron blocks or iron ore in here or not ore, but you know ingots that's the word and if it is a stronger signal then it will go over here and we'll put in some lapis and this one now, the reason why I'm doing it th this way is because I kind of want it to be more likely to get iron than lapis. Because if you have lapis, then you'll be able to enchant. Um, and I don't want you to instantly be able to enchant everything. And as you can see, it's kind of slow. Considering this is going to be a fast-paced game, um, I, think, I think it is at a good speed right now. Hopefully it is. Uh, my question is... Should I make it so that this has a delay and then um, if this one gets powered then it kind of cuts off this signal from being able to send through. Send through. Uh, you know what I mean? Maybe I should do that. I'll figure out a way to do that I think. And then I'll get this all set up and then we'll check it out in the final results in just one moment folks. Alrighty folks, we got it ready. And, um, sorry if you just heard a little bit of a movement sound because I, and my voice got louder because I had to move my mic. I forgot I moved it away. Whoops. I'm not restarting that one. <laughs> um, okay. I got this ready. I got this ready. Check this out. Okay, so, I didn't finish that side yet. But, um, it's, but they're basically going to be the same thing. So, I still need to do that pressure plate because right now this, uh, does nothing. But this pressure plate... Some iron, lapis. Oh, oh, okay. I was gonna say it looks like we're getting a consistent amount of lapis, but no, we are getting a lot of lapis still. <laughs> Let's check that out. Just from that amount of time, I should have dropped everything that I had. Let's drop everything really quick. Doop, doop, doop. Um, okay. 
Let's see. We'll do a countdown. Nah, we'll just stand on it for a second. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. Okay, eleven. Seven and four. See, that's not too bad. I mean, that's four additional enchants, probably, because you're only going to be doing one enchantment, so that's like your whole set of armor for one person. And, of course, you're going to be in a team of four, so you're going to need a, a, a good amount. You know what? I'll probably also have... Um, oh, but there's no way to get, like, XP for the players. Hmm... Yeah, that's the problem. No, we're, we're going to leave it the way it is. Okay. So, yeah, that works. Let's go down and check it out. Um, right over here. Okay. So, I decided to block this off. You know what? Let's take everything out just uh, to be safe. I know you guys. some of you guys are thinking, why don't you just put the iron and the lapis in here? And I plan to. I do plan to. This will be like the first this will be like the second and this will be whoop got steam hello this will be like the third the idea is this will control how much gets put inside here and um and then this will be what decides so it's hopefully this kind of works it out a little bit more because the dropper here is still going to pick randomly so if there's a lapis and an iron it's going to choose randomly even though this decided that it wants to send an iron right now. So, um, it, it's still completely fine by me, though. I don't see too much of a problem. Alright, so let's check this out. I wanted to take everything out, right? Yeah, yeah. I'm not going to be able to take everything out of there. There's a train passing by. Everything's going bad. <laughs> Let me just take this. No, because then they're just going to fall all over the place. No, that's fine. That's fine. Okay. Um, I'll refill that. Okay, so basically, when we're standing on the pressure plate that's up here, it is activating this clock. This clock, um, well, it's basically choosing to either send through an iron, another iron, or a lapis. If it's iron, it powers this first one, which goes straight to here. If it's lapis, then the power goes over here. There's a repeater here that pulls the signal, pushes it this way, and uh, the signal goes back up to here, and then into here, and cancels this one out. Now, you guys might be thinking, oh, that's a little overcomplicated, don't you think? Well, I kind of just wanted to compact it a little bit, and, um, and unfortunately, with a shovel in there, you only get three signal strengths, so it's it's not like I could just m put the redstone right here and then have this go into there and have another thing go into there you know that's my what I re originally tried but the strength only reaches three does not reach four so I had to do this little contraption um, but it works so I'm fine with it um, let me take this guy off too okay oh you know what I can just take out the lapis because that's not a lot of lapis if you're from the server, I would love a lot of lapis for this thing. Um, we don't need it just yet, though, so uh, I'm going to go cave in and see if I can get us some more. All right, let's turn this guy on so you guys can see what's going on here. So as you can see, when it decides to send the lapis, this actually cancels it out because this has a delay. And once this gets powered, this uh, locks the repeater. So yes, locked repeaters have a use in survival. I know, it's crazy, right? Nobody would have thought. <laughs> Alright, let me grab all this stuff. Okay, I think I got it all. Okay. Cool, cool. So that's that. This is finally working. Um, I need to add the other side, and I will do that on my own time. But for me, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I hope you enjoyed the video, and if you did, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a thumbs down. does not matter to me. Either way, as long as you leave some feedback, I am happy. Comment below. Let me know what you think. And it's nighttime. Oh, my God. Um, let's go ahead and sleep. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.